Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the biggest issue I've had until now with my Anet A8 printer. Um, while I was printing one day, uh, the printer started under extruding at times, then extruding just fine. And uh, it took me a couple of days to find the main reason for this. Uh, during that time, I tried to uh, set it to over extrude from the settings of the printer, which didn't work. I tried many other things until I just uh, disassembled the extruder and uh, found the main reason. So I'll just uh, disassemble it right now and show you what exactly happened with my extruder. So in the extruder you have uh, just a spring which actually uh, gives the tension to the motor to drive uh, the filament. If that spring it's, is too tight not, uh, the filament will uh, get uh, broken, uh, it, it will just snap and uh, if that spring is too loose the motor will not be able to consistently drive um, uh, filament through the nozzle so uh, what happened with my extruder is that uh, this spring the extruder spring just went over the nut this one here and uh, essentially it just uh, loosened the spring and the uh, extruder did, uh, uh, didn't um, move enough or consistent quantity of uh, filament through the nozzle so it started under extruding, over extruding very incons inconsistently so uh, the printer didn't print well at all and uh, after that, when I found out this, this spring went over the nut, I just added one spacer to it. You see this one here. This one here just holds the spring and uh, prevents it from going over the nut again. So this just uh, fixes the tension and uh, the extruder now can uh, firmly grip the filament and it will go through the nozzle just fine. Uh, in some other models there is a cap in this in this end on uh, it uh, stays on uh, this bolt right here but mine didn't come with one so uh, I decided to just uh, add a uh, this spacer beneath it. Like I used just uh, one like this I just had it in uh, my stuff so uh, this was the fastest the fastest way to fix it you can use anything like it just any thing that is big enough to hold the spring from uh, and uh, prevent it from going over the nut I have uh, a little bit A little bit different, different spacer, uh, which uh, might work. I haven't tried it, but it's quite wider. This one. It might work as well. I'm not sure. If it goes on the boat, it should work just fine. So you can use one of these as well. Just uh, disassemble it completely. Take it off. Take it off and just make sure it doesn't touch anything else like, yeah, it's fine. This one is okay as well, like this and 
put the spring back in I will return it to my original fix as uh, I've configured everything that way but you can actually use any any spacer you have or any spacer you find in your local shop and it will work just fine okay guys that's it for uh, for now um, I hope I helped anybody with a similar problem to mine and have a good one bye